Alright, and uh, welcome viewers to this uh, brief demonstration of how the CBT software works. That is computer-based testing. So once you boot the computer, the software, the first thing that um, you are exposed to is the quiz info section. This is where you enter the title of the quiz or examination that you are about to administer. And let's just give it a um, practice. Exam. Then for grade five, let me leave it for grade five, and then this is the author, the person administering the examination. And after entering that, from under the quiz information, you proceed to quiz questions and answer section. This is where you enter your questions one by one. You can enter up to five hundred questions, even one thousand per subject, as the case may be. So there is no there is no restriction to the number of questions you can set. And over here, you have the type of question. You have the polar question that is yes or no question. You have the multiple choice. You have the multiple response. You have the sequencing. You have the matching. Uh, mostly, maybe if you have um, different pictures or diagrams, that you want the learners to match, as the case might be, as um, regards to maybe early years or lower primary. So short answer, this one has to do with more of a subjective style of questioning where the learners will need to supply their own answer. You know? and so the, while using this, you have to be very careful that you put in the possible ways the learners can enter because if you don't, if they don't put in the correct answers the way you did it, the software is definitely going to mark them down. So that is one uh, use of this short answer method. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I will just focus more on uh, the multiple choice method of examination so let me also um, add this here that this software um, supports um, images which means you can add an image alongside your questions if you want them to answer questions before concerning a particular image so that is um, for that. So, answer your questions. This is where you enter your answers. You can put up to like four, five options. But for this purpose, I will just stop at this three. Then, what do you do? Anyone that you find as the correct answer, you tick it. If this is the correct answer, you tick here correct. Any any of the options that is the correct, you tick as the case might be. So, you go to add another question. Just like that. You keep adding until you complete your questions so you click on add question it will bring you to another blank um, section where you now need to enter your question enter the possible answers and then take the correct answers so after that you proceed to quiz settings so this is where you now enter i just entered only eight questions so if you want them to answer all the eight questions, you tick off. If not, you select the number you want them to answer and how you want it to occur. Do you want it in random styling or in order? That's method of showing the answers and method of showing the questions. So I'll just leave that the way it is. And total score, how do you want your scores to appear? Is it total score or you want the system, the software to grade them at the end of the exam? Anyhow, you just make your choice. But I'll just leave it at total score because I don't want it to grade them 5% or less of them. I will do the grading myself. Then you come here, set the timing you want the exam to last. For me, this to 10 minutes, as the case may be. And then you will proceed to um, generate final quiz if you want that, or show the grade on the screen for how many seconds that can reduce that this is not really necessary but I've entered the most important part of the examination settings which is the timing and the total score the number of questions I want them to answer so basically that is how it works you can import you can edit in fact you have um, columns for formulas in case you want to type in mathematical um, questions raised to the power and the rest of them it has a basic editing features and interface for basic editing so basically that is after that you now go to file then you click on save 
go to file click on save as okay so this is it the saved file now the teacher uh, what the teacher needs to do is to copy this file with the flash drive and this will go to all the students that will be taking this um, examination distribute it to their um, laptops and then once they click on it it opens it prompts them to enter their name and then they commence the examination so like i said once they click on it they it will prompt for them to the quiz taker to uh, the student to enter his or her name Let's I enter Gideon Joshua Greece and then you click on start quiz. So when you've clicked on that, you start. Mm, make your choices accept choices accept. Just like that until you're done. So you continue until you finish taking the test and then click on the accept it will display your score instantly. So basically because I chose the uh, eight point and um, point method of grading, so it appeared this way for me at the final. So what the teacher needs to do is just copy this out and then proceed to record. So basically, um, you can see that the tool is a win-win situation for both the school owners, the administrator, the teachers in question, and even the students. For the students, it saves, it exposes them to the 21st century learning experience. Because basically, most of the entrance examinations now, either to universities or even to colleges, secondary schools, even jobs, they are all computer-based, CBT-based. You cannot shy away from this. Um, latest development so it helps prepare the learners for this um, 21st century learning method also for the teacher it saves the teachers time and stress of marking and setting questions typing long and it also it also reduces error by 98% there are people 100 percent time is not it because it completely eradicates error due to marking and scoring for the school owner, it saves you time, it saves you money for photocopies and buying of toner and the rest of them, generator and a, a lot of stress. And the beauty of this quiz is that you can see that it does not require internet. Unless probably you, you want to administer a, the test to someone that is not physically present, then you can now send the exported file either via email or any other means. But for the purpose of just normal classroom examination, this is a very, very fantastic tool to achieve that. So basically, this is how it works. If you are interested, do contact us um, for further details on how you can get this running as quickly as possible. Thank you very much.